Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent. Well, this time of year, it can often be all about the humidity, and we're going to keep it on the lower side for one more day. So it's going to feel good with those dew points in the 50s. Uh, a bit humid, though, by later in the week, and then steamy by this weekend. Yes, it will return in a big way. But the fact that it's not too humid, it's going to mean that tomorrow morning is going to feel pretty good. Low 60s in the Asheville, Hendersonville area, but 50s for parts of the mountains, 57 in Bryson City, mid 60s across the upstate for the most part, 66 in Andrew and Spartanburg. And in your poolside forecast for tomorrow, uh, we're looking at highs back up to around 90, but with it not too humid. If you can find some shade, it's not too bad, but still, it's July. It's definitely going to be hot enough uh, to do some swimming. Now, when it comes to the heat index for tomorrow, I wanted to show you how this is going to work. Um, I mentioned that those dew point values are in the 50s, so there's that number, and then you've got the 90 degree high. It's actually just going to make it feel like about 90 degrees, maybe a degree warmer. So we're not talking about those heat index values or the you know, skyrocket up to near 100, but that's going to happen going into this weekend. But most of tomorrow, we're going to keep it at just uh, borderline hot territory, uh, but keeping those heat index uh, values on the lower end. So your next big thing, we're looking ahead to the humidity on the rise and scattered showers and storms back in the forecast. Wednesday looks dry, but Thursday, that's when we're going to have some scattered downpours developing. This is 7 p.m. Not everywhere will we see rain, uh, but there'll be a few pop ups. Friday brings a little better chance for some rain. Notice the coverage gets a little bit greater as we go towards 7 o'clock Friday evening, and we'll continue that on the afternoons and evenings for Saturday and Sunday as well. So keep this in mind. If you're heading to the South Carolina Peach Festival, that uh, should be a great time. Just got to watch out for some late day storms. This time of year, it's just kind of a regular thing, and it's going to be hot and humid with those temps in the 90s. And we're continuing to track the tropics. Right now, things are nice and calm across the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico. We do have one little area that we're watching in the open waters of the Atlantic that has the potential for becoming our next named system, but it would be moving away from the U.S. and not be an issue for land as it looks right now. So looking ahead to our seven day forecast, we've got isolated storms fr uh, into Friday and then scattered storms by Saturday. It looks like Saturday is going to bring our best chance, but they'll still be late afternoon, evening variety. Shouldn't mess with your entire day. And then we'll about a 30% chance on Sunday into Monday. A look ahead to the mountains, keeping it warm, but warming up and increasing humidity. So you'll notice a pretty big difference between Wednesday and Friday. And then uh, back up to close to 90, in fact, in the mountains as we get towards Sunday with those afternoon storms continuing for this next several days.